was the last time you took a good look at your neighborhood cops? Well, you might have noticed that today police look a hell of a lot different than they did 50 years ago. Yep, we've come a long way since the days of blue shirts donned with billy clubs. In fact, between the helmets, Kevlar body armor, and bulletproof shields, today's riot cops look more like stormtroopers than peace officers. But it's not just police uniforms that have evolved. It's also the changing tactics and technology that are turning city streets into battlefields. So to go over some of the most disturbing crowd control gadgets being used today, I'm joined by Breaking the Set producer, Manuel Rapolo. What's going? going on, man? So really crazy because, you know. <laughs> Thanks for the reference. No, and I know this firsthand. I mean, w there's so many types of, quote, less than lethal rounds because first of all you can't call them non-lethal because they still kill people i was right next to scott olson got hit square in the face with a beanbag round yeah right off the bat. if it's shot out of a gun right. a good rule of thumb is that it's not less than <laughs> like it very well and they're doing you. this at point blank range and so you know a lot of these people already know the beanbag rounds the sponge rounds die rounds um stinger rounds pepper ball rounds this is actually a bunch of little balls within like a I don't even know yeah. no <laughs> arsenal grenades and it's crazy and I guess point blank isn't good enough they, uh, we just flashed a, 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 a kind of a photograph of one of these um, of these new devices which is uh, you know from the most trusted name in electrocuting people taser international you have this uh, shotgun that sh that fires this uh, there it is right there it fires this projectile which actually uh, will will tase uh, a, a person it, it, it's insane what they're able to do with this thing it's called the x12 it's a 12 gauge shotgun that can fire a uh, extended range electronic projectile because that's what feet we need. away because that's what we need you know I mean we're not tasing enough people people are already dying from taser related yeah. deaths oh my god 500 people since 2001 have, have died as a direct result of, of tasers well, we and you can argue that if you want but that's that's Amnesty International that's ACLU that are providing these st statistics we we've been reporting this on the show I mean, before. we already have such a gun happy police force so overly militarized do we really need to be arming cops with taser guns now no, I mean it's like not, it's just unbelievable it's not just taser shotguns I mean it, it's all about it's the tase craze everybody's the tase, tase, it's tase it's crazy the tase crazy the tase crazy um, but let's talk about the stun cuffs because if we thought it couldn't get crazier it, it is 800,000 uh, volts in in these stun cuffs that you're looking at right now Wow um, they're actually uh, already in use believe it or not the uh, Buchanan Sheriff's uh, Buchanan County Sheriff's Department uh, is already using these things uh, there, there are two of them I'd hate to be the guinea pig that's all I have to say uh, We've covered a uh, similar device before, uh, which is probably the line of the future. If these are already mm. in production. These can then shock you. There's even cuffs that can administer uh, drugs. drugs. Yeah. Let's talk about this because this is really shocking. I don't understand how police would justify using this on protesters. Less than lethal landmines? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the, the, the way things are these days. I mean, you take it from the battlefield and you apply it to the streets um, to... How does this work? Well, I mean, if uh, for, for veterans watching the show, anybody that um, is a Vietnam veteran will definitely recognize what this looks like. It looks like a, a Claymore mine. Point this side away from enemy. Um, it has... It, it's full of little rubber pellets, the same as some of the projectiles that you described at the very beginning. Um, you know, you step on it, you trip over it, and then it shoots these rubber rubber bullets out there. I mean, it could easily... Uh, Shoot, it'll, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. It, that's very much the case with that's these. That's great. With these so now we have to worry about tripping over these and having bullets spray mines, out from the Abby, ground. Now we have to worry about mines. Great. Well, let's talk about <laughs> non-lethal chemical agents. Of course, we know already about pepper spray, tear gas. These are things that are regularly yeah. used. Uh, OC and CS gas, uh, you see those all the time. Actually, the footage that we're looking at right here is something completely different. This is called the skunk spray. Uh, RT did a, a, a report on this. It's, it's actually used in Israel. I don't know if it's been used here in the United States. I was actually looking into this. I couldn't find out what the actual chemical that's used inside this is, but it's it's a putrid, putrid, rotting smell. It'll burn your eyes. It'll leave a, a horrible taste uh, in your mouth, and uh, it's 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 absolutely powerful to Yeah, it's for been crowds. speculated it's, that it's like rotting sewage water. Right, and they I mean, just spray them at, at protesters. I've, I've, I've heard the same. I've heard that it's just raw sewage, essentially. Yeah, yeah, and it's with such force that it actually, you know, busts in I don't want to be around it, do you? I mean, no, yeah. I don't want to be around at all. And of course, they use, you know, water cannons here in the U.S. Let's talk about the sound cannon, because this is something that's really crazy. It can actually have a sound that can actually make you... <laughs> so, I was, yeah, absolutely. I was looking into this. They're also called acoustic hailing devices or long-range acoustic devices. I think 
people are, are more familiar with the LRAD. Uh, this w is able to uh, travel, you know, 500 meters at a time. Very powerful, powerful sound. Uh, they're using this off the Horn of Africa to, uh, you know, send loud messages to pirates. But um, this is this is a very effective crowd deterrent. It's actually already been in use for a few years here in the United States. It's very futuristic. It shoots sound waves at you, and it, it, it can actually move you out of the way. It can. Uh, there's been reports that it produces an, an ill, like a, a sick feeling in your stomach. It was used in 2011 at the Chicago NATO protest. It was used at the at, at the last Super Bowl. It was used against Occupy protesters. Uh, this is, you know, it seems like science fiction, um, and I mean, it, it is very scary if they're able to do this um, today. You know, we're finding out, you know, a few years later, what are they capable of doing today? Is the question. Right, and it also, I mean, it can totally incapacitate you. It can make you crap your pants <laughs> and pee your pants. I'm I serious. Know, it's, no, it's it not really a laughing is. matter. No, it's, it's not, not a laughing, laughing matter. matter. It's, this is how powerful this thing is. I mean, picture this being used during protests. I mean, these, these ear piercing, not even ear piercing, I mean, body piercing, where you are just completely incapacitated, really disturbing. Um, let's talk about the heat cannon, because if we thought that was disturbing, we're talking about an active microwave weapon being yeah. used. Nail on the head. That's actually exactly what it is. It's an open air microwave device. It's uh, capable of, of, of uh, producing burns on your skin, heating, heating the human body to 130 plus uh, degrees. Actually, this is no longer in, it, it, well, actually, I don't, I don't know if that's true. It was first used in Afghanistan, uh, and it quickly was pulled out for political reasons because they were thinking that it might be, uh, you know, something that could be used against the United States. It's saying that the U.S. is torturing people using this device. But the last that I heard about this, this heat cannon, or, or the ADS, the Active Denial System, Active Denial Technology is what it's called, is that um, it was used in a pilot program at a, at a California prison and then and prisons across the country are looking at this calling it the holy grail of riot control using this technology to uh, to disperse crowds to disperse and just so know, this heats the skin off its targets up to 130 Very. degrees this is how powerful this thing is what if something malfunctions I mean physicians have already disturbing. said that this has all the potential to be a deadly device this this is not less than lethal this is one of those things that we that we should look at right now and say look this is a little bit too much yes you could use this for torture yes you can kill people with this there's really no reason to be pulling things off the battlefield and using them here at home like these are the things that we really need to resist thank you so yeah. much uh, Manuel Rapolo BTS producer appreciate you breaking all this down thanks Abby